Hello and welcome to this Bones and All Q&A series in which I answer some of your questions about the book and the movie. I've been so delighted by all of the enthusiasm that you have shown for this upcoming film adaptation and I've been collecting your questions that you've been sending in by email and on Twitter and Instagram. And in this video series, I thought it would be fun to share some of my writing process, my influences and inspiration, some fun little anecdotes, and all that sort of thing. So here goes. First question. Danny writes, This novel is so visual, so it's no surprise that it would be adapted into a film. It looks like it's in good hands with director Luca Guadagnino, who I feel has a style that truly supports this story, along with a phenomenal cast. Have you ever thought Bones and All would be adapted into a film? And what are you feeling right now? So let me sketch out the timeline first. I got the idea for Bones and All back in the early summer of 2011. And for the next year and a half or so, I went back and forth working on this novel and my children's novel, The Boy From Tomorrow. You can read more about that experience on my friend Nova Rensuma's blog. By the end of 2012, I had drafts of both novels, and just before I left for a writer's colony in Scotland in January 2013, my agent asked me to do one more rewrite of Bones and All. So that's what I worked on three out of the four weeks that I was at Hawthorne Den. And then she sold the novel in April 2013. Now to answer your question, Danny, I was recently going through some old journals as I was developing a workshop on private writing. And if that piques your interest, there should be a card popping up at the top right corner of your screen. I was diving back into my old journals for illustrative purposes. And I found an entry from my time at Hawthorne Den in early 2013 that gave me the shivers in the best way. It was actually really prescient. I will share this journal page in a video on the extended playlist, which you can access by signing up for my mailing list. The sign up link is in the description box below. Just to explain in case you missed this Instagram post, I'm doing a public playlist and an extended subscribers only playlist because I'm going to be talking about some personal stuff. But getting back to the did I ever expect that this project was going to happen well we got the first call from the producer back in mid 2015 so that was only a few months after the novel had been published and so it's the project has been in the works for a while now and Danny I know you were in the film industry yourself so you probably know that books fiction and nonfiction mostly fiction get option for film all the time doesn't mean that the movie is actually ever going to happen. So even though Dave Kajanik came on board relatively early on, I was not going to let myself daydream about that movie getting made, not even when I got the text from my agent about Luca and Timothy. And you can hear more about my reaction on that day, uh, end of January 2021, in the video that will be linked in the card above here. I only let myself feel excited on the day they started filming in Ohio. I feel excited, yes. I also feel pretty chill and as oxymoronic as it sounds, I feel really excited about feeling chill. In this series, you may hear me say things like, Dave improved upon the source material, Luca improved upon the source material, and I just want to clarify that I am not being self-deprecating when I say these things. I wrote this novel a decade ago, and if I could revisit the material now, yeah, I'd make a lot of changes. I'm a better writer than I was 10 years ago. And such is the way of all art making, right? Your best is always going to be better than it used to be. Bones and all is not my favorite of my novels. It is no longer what I would consider my best work. And it's a blessing that they're making a movie out of the novel that isn't as dear to me as The Boy From Tomorrow or Petty Magic because it's easy for me to have a healthy sense of detachment about it all. I shall only half facetiously declare that I think everyone should have to wait 20 years for a career boost like this. 
you just have to get past the point of caring so much about recognition and you know all of that ego driven stuff that you know at this point in my life and in my career and in my personal development I can just sit back and feel delighted by you know every little update and every kind word from all of you thank you so much for all of your enthusiasm as we wait eagerly for this film to be finished and ready to share with the world and thank you Danny for asking these questions by the way Danny has a new movie out it is a horror anthology called I dream of a psychopomp I haven't seen it yet but I'm really excited for it it is linked above and below that's it for this video up next novel inspiration